What about Square Wallet? This has been a big part of your vision, paying by name and face. Someday, maybe we'll never have to take out our credit card or even take out our phone. How is Square Wallet doing? It seems like it's taken a bit more of a backseat to some of the other things that you're focused on. It's, it's something we really love. Um, it's something you know we want to see more of in the world. It's, we believe it is the future. It's something that we now see our competitors doing similar things to. Um, but people, you know, it's, it's a behavior, it's a new behavior, and, and, you know, those who find it and download it and use it, they use it nonstop, um, and they use it over all their favorite Square merchants, and we love it because you download it, you link your credit card once, and you leave your phone in your bag or your pocket, and you walk up to the counter and say, I'd like a cookies and cream ice cream, and just put it on Jack. It's like opening a tab with the entire city, uh, or, you know, at a sporting event, or at a farmer's market, and... Just, Can I put it on Jack? I would like to put everything on <laughs> you Jack. Actually have to be, I actually have to be there. <laughs> okay. I have to be there. But, um, so, you know, we see it as something that's easier and more secure and just more more human. And we definitely think it's the future, and it's just a matter of time, and we're working really hard uh, to, to accelerate it. So international expansion, you're in Japan now, mm -hmm. Canada. Canada. What's next? Well, we're looking. I mean, we, we want to make Japan successful. We want to, uh, you know, make the U.S. successful and make Canada success, successful, and we're learning a lot. We're, we're not like a typical technology company where you can just release it and the world can use it, and then you translate and you see this, you know, amazing growth. We actually have to have relationships within each market with mm. the acquiring banks and the issuing banks and So our uh, friends in Asia models. and the rest of Asia want to know, when are you coming to China? When are you coming to Europe? We would love to. I mean, it's it's really just a question of serializing these markets first and and learning from each one of them. And as we get better and better, paralyzing and and going to more more markets in the world. But we're looking at at, at so many of them, and and then we'll decide, you know, the the, the roadmap for them. Now, chip and pin cards are huge yeah. in Europe. What do you do about that? Do you have plans to introduce that kind of technology? Yeah, we've always we've always had the idea of you know any form of payment that comes over the counter the merchant should be able to accept it because that means they'll never lose a sale. And in Europe, that means accepting chip and pin. And we will have to answer that, you know. Mm -hmm. And we'll have to answer it in the U.S. as well because chip and pin is definitely coming to the U.S. eventually uh, within within years. So we'll, we'll have something that answers that question.